Hi, I'm Denshi, and these are the Arch Linux Mirrors, websites where you'll find downloads for the Pac-Man Package Manager, so where all its actual packages are stored. There's a lot of them in various countries, and they have various speeds and various completion rates, and all this kind of information you can get from this website. And you can even go to a website on the Arch Linux site, where you can generate a list of these for your specific country or whatever. The thing is, all of these functions are wrapped up in one program that you can install on Arch Linux and run called Reflector. And today we're going to be talking about exactly that. So here's my faster mirror times guide in Reflector. Let's begin with the installation. I don't want to waste time talking more about it. It's just a simple program in Python with some basic options you can take a look at. But let's begin with the installation. It's a sudo pacman s reflector. It's a package named reflector in your repository. So just run that command on Arch Linux and you'll have it installed. The first option you probably want to run with reflector, just running it by default, will automatically output the full list of every single Arch Linux mirror. There they are, all 600 and something of them. We can do a dash sort option or dash dash sort. So we can do reflector dash dash sort. So we're going to sort from that giant list of mirrors and we can sort by a certain factor like age, rate, country score or delay. I'm going to explain every single one of these. Now age just rates them by how recently their their modernity, I guess, how recently they've been synced. Now most of the time they're all relatively synced with the updated packages, but if there's a new update that just came out like right now, then it probably won't be on all the mirrors yet. So we could do reflector dash dash sort age and it will take all of them and sort them by age. So now they're sorted all by age. They're in the order of their age now. We could do dash dash sort rate and sort them every single 600 and whatever of them by rate. Now this takes a while to run, as you can see. This would probably take hours because there's 600 of them and it has to send a request to every single one to test this rate. But you know, if you really want to make sure you got the fastest ones, I guess you could do it this way. There are some things you can do to speed it up. Now, first things first, if you want to see what it's actually doing, do dash dash verbose so you can see what's actually going on in the command. So as you can see, they start appearing. Might take a little while for each one, depending on how quickly they ping. And it's as you can see, it's doing its stuff for rating them my speed. It's got its speed right here in kilobytes a second, or actually kibby bytes or whatever you call that. Let's take a look at a couple of other options you can do, like reflector dash p to select a specific protocol. So we could do HTTPS or yeah, those, that's all the HTTPS ones. We can do um, rsync, that's all the rsync ones, and HTTP, that's the three main ones. And we can also do dash L, so we can get the latest ones. If we want the 10 latest ones, just do enter, and that's the latest ones currently available. We can also do dash dash save, which is the most important thing probably here. It allows you to save to an external file, which is where the functionality of this program is really put on display. So there's a file on your Arch Linux install. It's etsy pacman.d mirror list, and it's got all your mirrors in them. In this case, it's generated by reflector because I already used reflector to make this. What you can do is use the reflector command to output its output of all the mirrors to that file. You're gonna have to sudo all of this, by the way, because that file requires root access to actually be written to or sudo access or do as or whatever. So let's give an example. Down here, we got sudo reflector dash dash verbose sort rate L30 save to that file. So let's break this down. So sudo reflector, run the reflector command, dash dash verbose, make sure it's actually outputting what we wanted, like it just shows you what it's actually doing. Dash dash sort by rate, so you're gonna sort them by their speed. Dash L, it's the 30 latest mirrors that it's sorting by. Dash dash save, Etsy, Pacman D, mirror list, it's saving it to Etsy Pacman D mirror list, your actual, you know, package manager mirror list. So if you run this command, if you if you actually want faster mirrors, you probably increase this number to 70. So it takes a look at 70 of them or not 730. But it, for the case of brevity, let's just do three to make sure this runs so we can give an example. So as you can see, it's going to start running through them. It's got its rate and time there. It's going to begin pinging all of them and seeing their speed so it can rate them. The first one timed out. How excellent. So we've only gotten two because only one of them showed up. But you know, that's two mirrors. <laughs> Probably not very good for downloading things. I have an example where I do the exact same thing, but sort them by delay. So that's pretty much the same thing. Let's take a look at this where we select nations. sudo reflector dash C will make sure the only outputted mirrors are from a certain nation, like Italy, if you want to add France or something, Germany. So we're only going to get mirrors from those three nations. And here they are. They're only from those three nations, all these mirrors. So we can use these options in combination with dash dash sort by rate and dash L by like the 50 latest ones or whatever. And we can do dash dash save to Etsy 
Pac-Man D, and Mirrorlist. And now we'll get 50 of the latest mirrors. We'll look through them and discriminate only by the ones that are from Italy, Germany, and France. And we're we'll all going to be sorting them by rate. I didn't add the verbose options. It's not giving us information on what it's doing, but it might give us mistakes or errors if the actual servers aren't responding, which, you know, happens sometimes because that's why there's so many mirrors. It has to be redundant. Now let's take a look at a final example. In this one, I do a similar thing, but I don't discriminate by a nation. And I do dash P and then say, HTTPS. Now, the reason you might want to do something like this is because you want to make sure that all your, you know, connections with the package managers are secure and, you know, using open SSL and stuff. So you don't connect via HTTP, which some people might be concerned connecting via HTTP to these mirrors. It's not really a big security risk. I don't think most people would, you know, run this option, but if you want to, you can. So that would sort by 50 of the latest ones and make sure you're only sorting by HTTPS. So that's the basics of Reflector. There's not really a lot more complex things you can do with it. You know, I've been Denshi. This was Reflector. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.